guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 16 of So Almost Better Show What. Just gotta get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is weird to watch this first, even though this has been out like umpteen hours. PJs. Oh yeah, you do look bigger. You got a horn in the back. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You you know op op. You can't die. <laughs> well, honey, the thing is, you don't know. When people look at you, the real you, you look scary as fuck. I'm not surprised about D coming back in our lives, but it's just, you know, you wonder who is D voiced by because it's like at the same time you think it's Aoi Yuki, but then at the same time it's like, no, that's Rami ha no, mm, Saudi Hayami. And you don't know because it's like, mm, mm, it's so similar to both, but then it's like, who could it be? I don't know. I mean, it'll make sense. It would be funny, like, if almost. Every female character, not uh, not every single one, but really anyone that's connected to Spider is all voiced by Aoi Yuki. So all of the Spider's personalities, the Spider herself, and this damn administrator. There's three different characters, or really technically more than three. <laughs> Wait, I think she had. Oh, Cody, are you fine? Okay. 
Okay. Here, no, just take my hand, Cody. Makes sense. Mm hmm. And a teacher. I mean, damn, but you would think that whole explosion would kill everybody in that school. Well, except you and like Faye. Faye, Faye a dragon, so let her reflect your vote. <laughs> Once again with Spider Man. <laughs> ah. But why didn't you do it yourself? This some bullshit. Hold up. How can... So yeah. Uh, Demon Lord. Yeah, honestly, it does because it's like okay. So for the girl who basically didn't reincarnate herself she just automatically became an administrator but why did she just not want to be you know alive anymore and live in a new world with everyone else there's more questions than answers
I don't know. Something's a little untrusting about him because his body language seems a little bit off and he was very hesitant to let them in. So now what do you do? But sir, you're just a drunk. I mean, well, okay, his dad. But yeah, you're just a little drunk right now. Let's hope this goes well. Okay. <laughs> Probably girl situations that you just don't need to know about yet. Oh! They just gonna show it like that, not even okay. Oh, she kinda looks like fetal. Yeah. Damn, if only Wakaba could have that. <laughs> So can you also like transform back into what you were before and go back and forth? But why, though? I mean, is it just... Is she one of the... We know she has to be one of the other students, but she can't be Wakaba, so she's got to be one of the other three. 
So she had to be a kid that was also being bullied because she was in the opening as well. There's so, oh my god, this is complicated as fuck. Right. Oh, you can't swim? Girl, you got fucking wings. You should also be fine underwater. <laughs> Please. And there's one. Hmm. Is everybody okay? So she's close. She's got to be at least one of the three between her and Sophia. I 
really want to fucking know because th- look, this is episode sixteen. We probably not even gonna know this until the end of the damn series. It just oh, God, the way the pacing is going with this, I'm like, <laughs> I need to know right the fuck now. Hell, it might be that water dragon. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Is it the puppet again? Ancient divine bees. Theme it. Can she even take it? <gasps> oh, even though she can. That scared me. What? Um. <laughs> what the fuck was this episode? That ending. What the hell was that ending? She comes out of nowhere immediately, technically, even though Wakaba can, you know, she can't die. She's immortal. It kills her. Like, Nothing! Are you serious? What the fuck? One, two, um... <laughs> I really thought we were going to get a moment where Wakaba was gonna meet up with Shun and everybody else and be like, Hey, you know, hey, my name is Wakaba, da 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 Yeah, even though everybody in that group would have just tried to kill her because, you know, she doesn't look the same when, you know, in shit and giggles and shit like that and stuff. Okay, um... Miss Administrator, the one who is basically, she ain't the big bad, but the one who has, is the reason why this is all happening, I got a lot of questions on her. 
So, number one, who is she exactly in the real world? Is she in the opening? Because I'm guessing both the Demon Lord herself and Sophia both are reincarnated from the original world and they're in the opening as well because I think I got that answer about Sophia, I think, last week or the week before. So, where the hell are they in this brand new opening? Demon Lord, what the fuck? Bitch, out of all the times you want to come out and kill somebody, you, you choose now. I, I don't know. I'm a little, mm, a little hesitant on this. I don't know what the hell's about to happen next. I mean, Jesus. But the fact is that, you know, Miss Little Witch came, like, just in the nick of time as Demon Lord was coming. Like, bro, what the fuck? Where the hell is this show going? I mean, we we're, we went one way, now we're going the completely different way. And I'm not mad at it. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously, what the fuck is going on? That's all. But, I mean, yeah, for an episode, it was really good. It was like, the pacing was eh. It felt a little fast at times, but now it makes you wonder, like, what else are, like, Shun and friends going to see when they go into this labyrinth? Still, are Shun and Wakaba going to officially meet? I mean, it, it's still a little unfair that, like, Faye can now transform into a human. You want that to kind of happen for Wakaba because, you know, Wakaba's been stuck as a damn spider since the first damn episode. And then with Faye, she's been stuck as a dragon for a while, but now she can transform as a human, which still, once again, she looks kind of like fetal in a way, except if fetal was kind of older and she cut her hair. But yeah, I mean, she looks good and she pretty, but I mean, it just makes you wonder, like, damn, you kind of wish all 25, not really 26, uh, students or people <laughs> would all be able to show up. But of course, but something about D. <laughs> I don't know. Something about her, like maybe the mystery, the mystery around her, whatever the hell it might be, might come up in the next few weeks. I don't know because she's like, mm, can't tell, can't talk about that, can't talk about this, and it's like, yeah, you can, bitch, you just don't want to. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode sixteen of So I'm a Spider, So What. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for episode seventeen. Bye, guys.